Hey, I'm Olivia, and you're watching Stuff Fly People Like TV. Keep it locked. Okay, so the last time I saw you, we were talking about love and hip hop. So I'm just gonna cut straight to it. Um, new series now called The Family Business. Main role, I'm super excited. And I get to speak in my native tongue, so I'm gonna be Jamaican throughout the whole thing. Yeah, no, I'm excited. Real acting. I mean, I, I, it's the same thing as my regular life because I'm, I'm still singing. Like, God damn, you act like I ain't singing or something now. Hold on now. <laughs> But I mean, you just don't have that over your shoulder because sometimes you forget since the cameras are following you around all the time. And we try to watch what you say because you know, you're like, I oh, shit time again. But you know, I mean, it's, it's actually refreshing to not have to deal with that because it was just so much and they want everything. But the problem is we're following a certain storyline. So you're not really getting to see the person we're following a, a story that we don't even want to follow. <laughs> I don't um, still watch the show. Like, I didn't watch the show when I was on it. All of my friends would tell you that I never, like, I would see it on Twitter, like, when people would send me stuff, and then I would retweet, or I would say, no, that's not really happened. But, okay, if they edit it that way, that's what you want to say. And then we would clear stuff up, but I never watched it. Okay, so the book. I actually got the title because I was writing a song, and actually, Neo had wrote one of the records and it's called Release Me. And I was going through my album titles trying to place where I wanted to put the songs in. And I was like, damn, what can I use for the name of the book? And then as I'm going through it, I was like, well, Release Me kind of fits because I wanted to be let go of the unit. We didn't know what we was doing at J Records because I was brand new and everybody was just, Release Me is it. It had so much meaning to it. And I was like, that's it. And it catches you. So that's how I got that. They can buy the book anywhere. <laughs> All bookstores, Barnes and Nobles, barnesandnobles.com, amazon.com, like everything. Yeah, Walmart, all that stuff. Look at me. <laughs> so let's talk about the album. Yes. The album, I know you're very, very excited about that. Very excited about the album is not even the right words to use, like elated, over the moon, ecstatic, I don't even know. And those are all, a lot of E's, I like E's. Yeah, yeah. Um, the album is called Right One For You. And that's a single that I have with Missy, actually. So I don't know if I'm gonna keep that the first one because there is so many great records on this album. Like Estelle is on the album, you know, that's our girl. I have a song with her and Luke James that I absolutely love. Um, Neo wrote me a record. Let's see, Wale is on the album, French Montana. So I'm, I'm really, really happy. And you get to see the, like, you know December and walk away and stuff like that so I'm really singing but I'm also giving you I'm still giving you my edge but it's it's real R&B like but you know the tracks are crazy because Jerry Wonder was on the tracks and I got a whole bunch of other great producers so it's just I don't even know another word like I'm just really excited that I, I finally get to do it my way that's what I should say top five items that I can't live without like a specific thing Okay, well, I can't live without mascara, and it has to be Maybelline waterproof, just in case a chick or I um, A pair of Giuseppe's. I always have to have a pair of Giuseppe's. Um, my phone. My Bible, because my Bible is in my bag right now, too. I always carry a small one. And chapstick. Can't have chapstick. Like, no. Yeah. <laughs>